the real problem of Nigerian housing, basically, housing deficit. deficit is in the number of the houses that we have and the ability to get more houses because of ever increasing cost of construction. Cost of building material has gone up. Even to get land is another thing. And then the basic infrastructure, infrastructures are not there. So these are the factors affecting housing deficit. But basically, the cost of construction is going out. It's only the big guys in the industry that are building for the income earners is very difficult because the enemy environment is not there. The cost of borrowing from the bank is very high. Cost of interest is over 30% now. So it's, it's killing. So these are part of the things. Interest rate is high. The cost of construction is going up. Basic uh, cost of materials are soaring high. So these are the things contributing when we have 20 million de housing deficit, because the government is able to produce only 5,000, and the few individuals can, can do it, they cannot afford. Because before, maybe a bungalow that will cost one mil uh, 2 million, 3 million, we are talking of over 10 million now, not to talk of block of flats or multi story building. The cost is on the high. Well, solution, a lot of things that can be done. I will mention about three, four, five. One, effort, all hands must be on deck on how to bring down the cost of building materials. And like we said, one of the things affecting is energy production. We need to, you know, speed up, you know, the production process. A lot of things, we have both solid materials, natural resources, minerals, and so on, which can be used to produce wide, wide range. This country is blessed. Nigeria is blessed with a lot of natural resources that can be used to produce. But energy, the cost of uh, acquiring the necessary equipment, and so on and so forth, is affecting. So we need production has to be sped up, one. Also, uh, Energy, how we can bring the cost of energy down. Two, then our own, we need to change our orientation, our tastes. We virtually import everything. If we can start using our local materials, this also will help us to bring down the costs and reduce pressure on scarce our foreign reserves. So, because this will help to bring down our dollar if we can reduce importation and if we can produce in the country and if government can further help to open up our roads and many things, provide basic infrastructure, enable environment. Like I mentioned also, reduce the body. Even when you are able to gather the few uh, funds, the bottlenecks in getting even the approval for you to move to site. It's the government is increasing every day in the, in the name of increasing, generating funds, generating revenue. You know, like I mentioned in Lagos State now, they've just introduced, apart from you, you, you do the basic assessment, you pay for LAPCA, pay for local government, all those agencies, you pay for to last uh, people uh, waste management. Presently, they've introduced LASA, advertising agency, that you still also need to pay some amount to LASA. So you find that a lot of agencies now, it increases the bottleneck and increases the burden on people, particularly in major urban centers. That is that's also affecting. So if all these things can be brought down, uh, can be reduced, it will help. Also, let's embrace green building. building green building reduce our dependence on things on energy, AC, uh, things that will warrant, you know, 
getting energy consuming equipment. If you, can, you can design like in the past, in the olden days. You have wide windows, you can get fresh air, you use air conditioning, you, use, you have lights. Unlike some people, they will be so that they cannot even stay there until they have artificial lighting. All these things increase the costs and then make them to import. If it's just you have your natural light, natural air, and many things, all these will help to reduce cost of construction. So these are the things that can help us. If we can reduce the cost of construction and people are able to afford with their meager income, they can be able to build. Thank you.